Okay, hey guys, CH Gamer for the Weekend Gaming Nerds, and I've got the Razer Messenger Bag, as well as the main product here, the Razer Mamba 2012 Edition Gaming Mouse. So, I'm just going to do kind of one each one of these separate, so let's get off started with the Messenger Bag. I already opened the UPS box here, so here we go with that. Mamba in the bottom. We'll do this first. Love, God, I love that awesome razor symbol. I like things plain with just a little touch, so this bag's perfect for me. Some of their other bags are kind of overdone in my taste, like the Battlefield 3 bag. Mostly because I'm not really a Battlefield 3 guy. Not as much as some people, at least. Alright, so you have a really nice green interior. I was expecting some suede on the bag or something, but it's, there's no suede, it's just this nice durable material. You can kind of see, probably can't see with the, yeah, it's kind of got that textured material to it. And there's a little pocket here with a strap, so you can put the strap like that, nice Velcro, and you can, I suppose you could put a computer in here or something if you wanted, there's a bigger pocket here that... There's a nice shoulder strap, razor symbol on there. That's really nice shoulder strap actually, actually has some padding on it. And the bag's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. You can see it's about, if I put my arm up to it, it's pretty big, which I like. I was expecting it to be kind of small, but bigger than this it would be too big, but that's pretty nice. Here I actually have a... 15 inch notebook computer and I'll slide this in here it looks like 15 inch will fit just fine but anything bigger than that is uh, gonna be too big so you probably wouldn't want to carry your 17 inch around in here kind of be awkward might not even fit depending on how widescreen your computer is uh, yeah there you go looking forward to carrying around this messenger bag looking awesome Love Razor stuff, so yeah. All right, so that's been Razor, just original messenger bag. All right, so now we're moving on to the uh, Razor Mamba gaming mouse. It's in this little paper here. Move the paper, and wow, that is some very nice packaging. Pretty epic looking. All right, so you got 4G. I can get the camera to focus there. Double 4G. So I guess that's new or something. I'm not really into that much gaming mouse stuff. But I'm assuming this is going to feel better than my uh, Logitech over there that I got 19 bucks with my computer. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to testing this baby out. And I will be putting a review as best I can, an in-depth review out for this after I get a chance to put it through the motions. Alright, so let's just uh, open this up here if I can figure it out. Looks like... Okay. There we go, there's a little tape on the back there. It just comes off. Yeah, Razor does have very nice packaging. I can appreciate that. And it looks like we got some stuff here. There we go, there's some text there. Welcome to the cult of Razor. Genevieve, a cult of Razor. Okay. For all you Spanish-speaking people. I think that was Spanish. Alright, so here's a little packet of stuff. Don't drop the incredibly expensive gaming mouse. Bad. No, bad. For gamers by gamers. Razor.com Alright, so you got some stuff in here. You got a razor. Congratulations, there's no turning back. The Cult of Razor. Okay, I don't know what that means, Cult, but uh, however, 
Uh, Razor Mamba, get a little, whatever this is. Uh, okay, there we go, come on. Key features over here. Default button assignment, yada yada. Yeah, you guys can read that if you want to get it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's more in-depth manual. Contents. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so package contents, whatever. So I'm gonna flip through this here. Message from Razor Guy. Did not know there was a Razor Guy. Good to know. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Apparently this tells about the program and stuff that comes with it, too. You can manage stuff and lighting and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, where do I leave off here? All right, you got a razor sticker there. That's pretty sweet. Got different language booklet. Okay. All right. So that's that's the uh, extensive reading material there. All right. So right here, see what we have. We have several boxes. All right. Right here we have. Looks like it says battery on it. So sure enough, there's the battery. Rechargeable. Okay, I don't know what I just ripped there. Oh, there we go. More gamers, by gamers. Don't really know what this is. Let's open it up. Looks like just a battery cover. I don't know if you can use normal batteries with this or not, or if you have to use the rechargeable. Of course, you can't recharge it with normal batteries. It would blow up. But, yeah. for gamers, by gamers. Cool. Alright, so. Battery. Cool beans. Moving on, this has a USB symbol on it, so. You have a nice, uh, you know, I guess you could use this cloth as a wipe off cloth or something. It's kind of, kind of that type of cloth. And here's the nice braided charging cable. This goes into the mouse right here. It's a little USB, mini USB type there. And. That's just normal, gold-plated, very nice USB port. Plug that into whatever you're going to do, PC or whatever. Yeah, anything with power, basically. All right, and the last box here, charge base. Funny, they made this look a lot bigger on their website, but I guess this is, you wouldn't want it much bigger than this. I was kind of worried about it being too big, I guess. But yeah. So there's a little wireless thing. I think that's the light around it. It'll be covered in the review. Uh huh. Nice rubber stuff on the bottom so it doesn't move around. All right. Uh, and of course, around the bottom, that's gets lit up with LEDs, I believe. So cool. All right. Now the only thing left is the mouse itself. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Voila! I'm so keeping this case. Oh, did I miss something in here? Just because piece of cardboard. So, no, I did not. Okay, there you go. It says pull tab. Okay, so that pull tab thing is for the battery pack. Do not get a pair of needle nose pliers and pull on it really hard. Which I didn't do, but almost did. Anyway, you're just supposed to take this little tab, pull, comes off like so. This thing is like in the battery slot, so it comes out a little hard, but it's a good deal still. Alright, so here you just have the mouse run by itself, and you cannot put normal batteries in it. You have to put the battery pack in. So yeah, battery pack into mouse, cover over battery pack. Cool beans. Alright, so that's been the unboxing of the Razor Mamba. Actually, I will get this thing going and show you guys the lighting and stuff. So I can actually say there's been a first look. 
Uh, this wasn't much of a first look. This is just an unboxing. So I will piece back in. All right, hey guys, I'm back. Got a little first look at the mouse and the uh, turn a little light on here and the charging dock. There's the charging dock up there. Fits in quite nicely with the rest of my setup. And it's pretty cool. The charging dock's actually doing a lighting cycle as well as the mouse. I really like that color. It's like a cobalt. But so it's just cycling. It says there's a space right there for a spectrum cycle. So that's what I have it on right now. And you can also do individual colors like so. Yeah, let's put it on hot pink. There you go, it is hot pink. And let's put on red. Okay, that's not red. But I guess you have to apply. Alright, put it on red. Okay, let's do hot pink then. <laughs> hot pink. Apply. Writing to device. Takes a second. And it's done. And then it is hot pink. That's like a light pink. The other one is hot pink. Alright, so now let's do red. We'll do the deepest red. And we will apply. And this goes. And it does feel really nice. And you know, this is the mouse I was using before. It's a Logitech. Logitech, however you like guys like to say it. Uh, yeah, it was 19 bucks. I just got it because it was the cheapest thing I could get with my computer because I knew I wanted to get a razor eventually. But this is really nice. Feels good in your hand. All that jazz. So for first impressions, all are good. Okay, so there's that nice deep red. That's pretty beast color, actually. And you can adjust the... You can actually adjust the lighting on this. You can actually turn it all the way off. You can see over here, you can turn, the camera isn't focusing very good on this, but you can either turn it off when you go to wireless mode, you can do dim, you can do normal, or bright. I just have it set to bright right now, because I don't really care about battery, really, because, I mean, like, if I want to, I can just unplug the dock and plug directly in. You can charge on the go, all that good stuff. So, first impressions very good. It has actually has an estimated battery life here, which you cannot see. And it says 7 hours, so up to 7 hours, but what if I turn this down to, say, dim? Yeah, it says up to 10 hours. What if I turn it off? 12 hours. Not bad. And it enters sleep mode after it's idle for 1 minute, it says here, so that's pretty good. That's the lowest you can go is 1 minute. Flash battery indicator when battery level falls below 25. Yeah, what if I turn it off? It doesn't do anything. Yeah, okay, flash it when it goes like 10% or something. I don't really care. Alright. And there's a whole bunch of other good stuff in here. And I'll cover all of this whole program with my in depth review of the uh, product, the gaming mouse. But. For a first look, first impressions, I'm really impressed. Feels great uh, physically and virtually. You can change the resolution just like that. As you can see that's the highest it goes. There's a red light right there. And you can go down, it's two red lights. Down again, three red lights. Two red lights on the right, and one red light. I'm doing stuff over here. So right now, you can see one, the amount that I'm moving my hands on the car, two, still moving my hand about the same amount, three, move my hand about the same amount, and I keep going up, we got on four now, so there's five levels and it goes all over the place. So, top level is extreme. Oh, it's everywhere. You get across my screen with, screen with one flick. So, it's pretty awesome. 
I like two. I don't like it real sensitive, but uh, it's just how I like it like that. So yeah, this program looks like it has a lot of uh, customization options. So I will go over all of them. Signing buttons, tweaking performance, uh, manage profile, yada yada, manage macros, lighting and power, kind of went over that, but yeah. This will all be covered in my in-depth review. So thanks for watching guys, this has been CH Gamer for the Weekend Gaming Nerds. Signing off.